Hello, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Oma. I'm glad to have you on this channel today. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. If you've been an old subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I do not take you for granted. In my years of encounter with energies, my years of spiritual practice, and my experience, I will tell you that God is the four elements of nature. Yes. The four elements of nature are the four cardinals. That is the universe itself. Remember that what gives you life is part of you. If someone is losing blood and needs a blood donation, if a family member deems it fit to offer this blood or to give out this blood to the needy, to the person that needs it, the person becomes a part of the person that supplied blood to him or her. God, if you're waiting for you to encounter God differently, you are making a very big mistake. God is in the four elements of nature. God is water. God is air. God is earth, which is the soil, which every man returns to and every animal returns to when they die. God is the sun. Man cannot survive without these elements of nature. We need the sun for a lot of things. We need the water to survive. We need the air for oxygen. We need the soil for our food to eat and survive. We need the sun for our plants to grow. If there is no sun, the plants will not grow. Now, God has created us in his own image and likeness. This means that these energies are God. Because without these energies, man will not survive. If a fish is carried out of the river and is kept on the land, that fish will die. It will never survive it. If oxygen is taken away from human, if the air we're breathing is taken away from us, we will never stay alive. If we don't eat food, we can't stay alive. If we do not drink water, we cannot stay alive. We need the sun to grow our plants. And we also, photosynthesis, we need the sun for photosynthesis to take place. The sun must be available. Now, I have told you guys here that when you are talking about spirituality, you have to leave religion aside. You have to start thinking critically. Everything is not all about faith. I don't need faith for me to know that I'm putting on a pink dress. I do not need faith for me to know the truth. You only tell me to have faith when what you are telling me is not the truth. I should be able to reason with my brain. If I am a human, I should be able to reason with my head. What am I trying to say? Looking at these elements of nature, human beings die, animals die, but these 
four elements of nature never dies. From year to year, from century to century, from decades to decades, it never dies. Does it mean, is your mind telling you that these elements equate to God Almighty? No, these elements are God himself. God is not manifesting himself through these elements as a male, but it's equal and it's balanced because the earth and the sun are two opposite elements. The sun is a male energy. The, the, the sun is a male energy. The earth is a female energy. The air is a male energy. And the water is a female energy. After the wind comes the rain. When the rain falls on the earth, it requires the sun to dry it up. And then before we move to condensation, Listen, God is the four elements of nature. It never dies. God remains the same from year to year. It never dies. It will never die. That is why it is said that God is woman important, woman science, that God is an energy that became on its own. Listen, this birthed the deities we have in Africa, where we have the female energy, which is the water, where our forefathers understood this better than us. They created an avenue of sacrificing to this water for the energies in water to bless them. The same way they understand, even the church people do burnt offering to the sun struck fire energy for its blessings. The same way is applicable to the air, the wind, Arobinago. The Nkwa energy. Yes. In Africa, in Nigeria, in Ibo land. We talk about Arodike Mokem. That is the air, the wind energy. Then we talk about the earth. This is an energy. It's a female energy female side of God. God is in different ways. He who doesn't understand it will target differently. That is why when you offend the female energy, the earth, God, that part of God becomes angry. I do not want this video to be a very long one. I just want to give you a little clue on what the ritual you're gonna do. You have been going to from places to places for several years, asking for help. I want you to do this ritual. Find a way of connecting yourself to God through the energies involved. Rather than connecting yourself to a man who lacks what it takes to be close to nature who goes in his or her closet to commit all atrocities a man who sleeps with women all over a woman who desecrates the land by committing abortion a man who bears witness false witness a woman who does not even keep the holy days before performing rituals for you during her monthly cycle. 
why not connect yourself and your family to the elements of nature? <laughs> 2022, before the day of New Year, I did exactly this ritual that I'm telling you. And I know that I, the year 2023 has been a very big, a huge blessing to me and my, and my family. The truth of the matter is, whatever I teach you here is what I practice. I don't just come up to teach you what I don't know. I have never gone to anyone and say, teach me spirituality. I encounter it. If I teach what I do not know, I will be questioned. But it's not, remember that nobody is perfect. Sometimes the knowledge you have may be countered by another. But the truth is that the spirit does not reveal lies to their own. Go and connect yourself with the four elements of nature. Instead of going to a man who probably does evil things in their closet, you're not even aware of it and you're worshipping them. How long are you going to continue? Are you going to continue to worship a human being like you when you can actually do better any time of the year that you're free to do this? There is no specific time. Go and get me earth, which is the soil. Get me water in a glass. Soil in any container of your choice. Light up an incense, good luck incense, as the air energy. Go and get me a candle, white candle. Light it up. Put salt inside a bowl of water. Gather your family members. Put your hands inside it and pray. Declare what you want. State what you want. The energies of God are surrounding you. The presence of the universe is there with you. <laughs> the presence of the universe is already there for you. Gather them together and speak. Let each and every member of your family state what they want to happen in 2024. This request, you'll be surprised at how much it will happen with the speed and the velocity it's going to take effect. Okay? Pray and make your supplication to the universe, to God. You will see him manifesting in your life and in that of your family. Right? Don't go to anybody and say, pray for me. Don't go to anyone and say, pray for me. I do my rituals at every 21st night. I gather my family. We do our rituals. Nobody has the monopoly of being more successful than the other. We have the same God. The only thing is we have different ways of reaching out to him. I will leave it there. Go and do this ritual and return back with your testimony. After praying with those things, allow the candle to finish, allow the incense to burn, state all you want and all that. Place your hands on the earth, the soil. Place your hands in your water and pray to the universe for blessings. For a bountiful harvest in 2024 and see what is going to happen. All right? Okay, thank you very much, guys, for watching. God bless you all. And see you guys in my next one.